We've got a super sunset happening right now. It's not as warm as it was yesterday, but it still looks pretty as we look to the west here in North Raleigh from our backyard at CBS 17. And it's 43 degrees. Once that sun goes down, it is going to get cold. And I'm not ready to commit to coldest air of the season tomorrow morning. But it's going to be close. So far this season, 24 has been our coldest morning. We did that the second week of November. Tomorrow morning, again, pretty close, we'll drop down to 28 degrees. And we're not in the 20s yet, but we've got 30s and 40s across central North Carolina. A lot different than the 60s and 70s we had at this time yesterday. So 43 here in Raleigh, a few degrees cooler up in Durham, already in the 30s in Roxboro and South Hill and in Roanoke Rapids. And we're still holding on to mid-40s down in the Sand Hills. And that was about where our high was today. And as we head into tonight, the few clouds we have out there now will clear out. No rain tonight or tomorrow, but our temperatures will drop into the upper 30s by 8 o'clock, down into the mid-30s overnight, and again, we'll wind up around 28 degrees on Thursday morning. So the cold front, it worked. I mean, when you draw it up, in the playbook, this is what cold fronts are supposed to do. Now behind it, we have high pressure, and that's going to nudge the rest of these clouds out of here, giving us sunny skies tomorrow, but our wind flow is generally coming out of the north, where there's a lot more cold air. So that's going to keep our temperatures down tomorrow, despite the fact that we will have sunny skies. So let's kind of zoom through tomorrow because there's not a whole lot going on. 7 a.m. Thursday to 7 p.m. Thursday, and you can see we'll have mostly sunny skies, a few clouds late in the day along the coast, but that's the most interesting thing that's going to be happening tomorrow. Friday gets a lot more interesting, so let's stop it at 7 a.m. Friday. Friday will bring us our next batch of rain. That rain will come from the southwest. Moisture from the southwest moving into a cold atmosphere up here. Is it going to be cold enough, though, to produce anything more than rain? The short answer is no. It's going to be a rain event for us, but it's going to be close because as you can see, again, at 7 a.m., the rain has arrived in Charlotte and in places in the triad. Those spots could have a brief onset, I'm talking about an hour or two, of some freezing rain. Now, if this rain were to get here a lot sooner, which, I mean, is possible, but not likely, we might have an incident with some freezing rain. But it would be so brief, both here or there, that it's probably not going to cause widespread problems. So that's the conversation about frozen precipitation. The bigger story on Friday is going to be that it's going to be very cold and it is going to be wet. We expect the rain to arrive here later in the morning on Friday. We expect it to be around for the late afternoon and evening hours and then to the overnight hours as well. So a cold, cloudy, and wet day Friday is what's heading our way. Those showers sticking around early Saturday morning, but they should be out of here for the rest of the day. So as far as who's got a chance at seeing some frozen precipitation Friday morning, most of it's still out to our west. We just have rain in our forecast. And here's what it looks like on the extended forecast. After a dry, chilly day tomorrow, there's our cloudy, wet, and chilly day Friday. Rain getting out of here on Saturday. Sunday looks to be the pick day of the weekend as we get into the 50s. And then look at that. We've got a 60-degree temperature next Tuesday. But as you look at the exclusive 10-day forecast, it gets cold again next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with highs in the 40s.